Hi everyone, welcome to talk session. Here question is design DFA to accept all ternary numbers divisible by 5. As I mentioned in previous videos, for such pattern of questions where there will be binary ternary decimal numbers or divisible by 2, 3, 5. In this case, we will be using one trick to solve this question. How it works? Here divisible by 5, it means there will be the 5 states. So what are those states? If we start from Q0, then Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. There are 5 states as mentioned divisible by 5. Ternary numbers. Ternary number consists of which symbols, which digits? As we know 0, 1, 2. So we will write here 0, 1, 2. For such pattern of question, first we will be writing the table and from table we will design the automata. Here Q0 will be always starting and final state. Now how to complete this table? Users need to write down the name of the state row wise sequentially. Means how? First row, start from the Q0, next state Q1, next state Q2, next row, next state Q3, Q0, Q1, Q2, then Q3. One more state we have Q4, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. If all state names are over, you can again start from the Q0, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Again you can start from the Q0, Q0, then Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Likewise you can complete this table. Now we can draw the diagram from this table. Q0 is starting as well as our final state. So Q0 is starting as well as final. Then Q1 is one of the state, Q2, Q3 and then Q4. Now give the transition as per this table. Q0 going to Q0 for symbol 0, Q0 going to Q0 for symbol 0, Q0 going to Q1 for symbol 1, Q0 state going to Q2 for symbol 2. First row is completed. Now next row. Q1 going to Q3 for symbol 0. Q1 going to Q4 so for symbol 1. Then Q1 going to Q0 for symbol 2. Second row is completed. Now next row. Q2 going to Q1 for 0, Q2 going to Q1 for label 0 or symbol 0, Q2 state going to Q2 for 1, so it's a self loop, Q2 going to Q2 for 1, Q2 going to Q3 for 2, Q2 going to Q3 for symbol 2. Next row, Q3 going to Q4 for symbol 0. Q3 going to Q4 for symbol 0, Q3 going to Q0 for symbol 1, Q3 going to Q0 like this for symbol 1. Next Q3 going to Q1 for symbol 2, Q3 going to Q1 for symbol 2. You can give like this also. Q3 going to Q1 for symbol 2. Now last row, Q4 going to Q2, so Q4 going to Q2 for symbol 0, then Q4 going to Q3, Q4 going to Q3 for which symbol, symbol is 1 and at the last Q4 going to Q4, it's a self loop for symbol 2 and this is our final DFA. Now you may observe that if we start writing DFA first, it becomes very difficult as we are following this trick and we are writing DFA from the table, then it becomes very easy. You may observe here different transitions crossing each other, that's okay because here number of states are more and the input symbol are ternary, so it may happen. In the next session, we will be learning how to design DFA to accept all decimal numbers divisible by 2 using the same trick. Thank you for watching.